it for the two. Nice. <laughs> Wrong way. Now, do you have a rudder on it again now? <laughs> See, that's the type of turns you need to make on your racing, you know? It'll make that tight of a turn. But the rudder doesn't spin out quite like that. Yeah. See, that's a tight ass turn. Mine won't get that tight. Really? Uh uh. The Atlantio 059 out of box experience. Even with the problems I will mention momentarily, this boat is a great value, fast, and lots of fun. I do like the battery to charger connector. It is obvious how to connect it, and it appears to be more durable than others. This boat has a very nice looking professional style remote, but it does appear somewhat cheap in appearance uh, when compared against the Futaba of the world. I really do like the low profile rudder. Even though it does appear too small to do what it does, it works just fine. Now in the video, the boat is missing roughly 70% of the original rudder due to a crash. Uh, the thing is so fast I jumped it right out of the pool. The boat that I ordered was delivered to me uh, with no reverse power as is reported in the ads. There is no digital speed. In other words, it's either on or off. But the vector style dual prop tuning or turning rather is awesome. One should note the rudder is not a moving part, but it may be adjusted for trimming purposes. The documentation that came with this boat is poor. It came with a single page instruction sheet, and the user must look at the box to even figure out how to install the battery. And some level of charging information. I've found uh, four hours for this type of battery is sufficient. Four to six on the first charge. The documentation does mention uh, that the parts need lubrication periodically, but it gives no further information. The stand that ships with this boat just simply falls apart and is kind of cheap in nature, but a couple of drops of glue will easily resolve this. I did notice uh, poor quality in decal application at the factory. Uh, there were bubbles under the decals as well as a little bit of misalignment. Also uh, on the boat that was delivered to me, one of the windshield wipers is not actually touching the windshield. I guess quality control, uh, quality control missed that one. General guidelines for all radio controlled boats. Kids will screw it up, sink it, throw it, and use it as a swimming apparatus. Kids will drive propeller-driven boats into long-haired girls' hair as they swim in the pool. Yes, I have seen this happen. After use, oh, I got that on video too, by the way. <clears throat> in any case, after use, do not store in a duffel bag as water vapor can penetrate the electronics. After use, wipe it dry with a terry cloth and disassemble the boat to allow full drying as soon as possible. Water vapor and water left in the hole will rust out the switches on less expensive boats and possibly this one. Again, this boat is a great value and was purchased from Banana Hobbies for only $34.90 plus shipping and handling. I am still enjoying it immensely. Thank you for watching.
I've just shown you what not to do. Do not mess with these screws. Do not mess with these clips. Looking for the battery connector here. The battery location is back there. It's obvious how that snaps in. There's your twin 380 motors.